Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today we're headed on a grocery haul trip with the whole family. I need to go to Trader Joe's, to Walmart, and to Costco. So come along with us. So a few days ago, we got back from our trip to South Carolina, which was awesome. And we're getting ready to go on another trip down to Palm Springs for a YouTuber convention. I'm super excited about it, but that means I need to get all of my videos and recipes done before we head out of town. So today I'm picking up things for lunches, other recipes, and things we need for our trip. So let's go. Now I'm actually getting out the door early to go to Walmart and to Trader Joe's just with Griffin. My husband's gonna stay with the kids and they're gonna finish school. We still have about one month left of school so they need to get that done. And then after lunch, we'll all head to Costco. Okay guys, so we made it home from Trader Joe's and now we're headed to Costco, but we're gonna make a quick stop to the P.O. Box because I think I have a couple of things from you guys, so let's go. Okay guys, don't mind puppy dog pals being played in the background because we are in the car, but look at all this mail. I got stuff from New Mexico, from Pennsylvania, Seattle, out of the country. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I can't wait to open these up and I'm definitely gonna be sending you back a thank you card. So thank you so much. Okay friends, we're back home now and I can show you everything that we picked up. Now really, it didn't seem like very much at each individual store, but once I put it all together, it really does look like a huge haul. So a lot of these things are going into lunches and other recipes that I'm making throughout the week before we head out of town. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco first, starting with the non-food items. First up, I have some of this foil. Now this is actually on sale right now, and I kid you not, I haven't had to buy foil in years. I actually bought a big roll at Costco several years ago, and I just finally ran out. I don't use it super often, but it's definitely handy, and I wanna keep it stocked in the house. We also got some toilet paper, and then moving over here, I picked up a big tub of this organic hummus. This is the Simply Roasted Pine Nut version. It's pretty good. We also got a big thing of cottage cheese and some juice boxes. These ones are really good. They're 100% juice, no added sweeteners, and you get 40 for just about $11. Now these are new at my Costco as well and they're in the coupon book as well. These are the organic bean cheese and rice burritos. This looks really tasty and quick and easy. So hopefully these will be good. I also got two different kinds of lunch meat this time. This is a roast beef and this is a ham. And of course I also picked up a rotisserie chicken. I love to pick one up just about every time I go. It makes for a quick, simple dinner or I like to shred it and then put it in lunches throughout the week, like quesadillas, on salads, and things like that. I also picked up just one carton of eggs. I don't think we're gonna have time to go through that many eggs before we go out of town, so just one this time. I also got a big bag of cuties, a big bag of bananas, and I just got one salad this time. I didn't wanna get two and run the risk of one going bad. So this is the Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad. I buy this all the time. It has broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, feta cheese, which I love, and a basil balsamic vinaigrette. It is so good. Now I was a little concerned that this has romaine in here as well. I've heard a lot about romaine in the news recently and it's not good. So I'm crossing my fingers that nobody gets sick from eating this. Now you guys know I love the basil pesto, but today at Costco they were sampling this. This is the sun-dried tomato pesto with basil and it is so good. All the kids loved it. They were sampling it with a chicken um, tortellini, but I decided to get our favorite tortellonis instead. They're a little bit cheaper and they're so quick and easy. Also from Costco, we picked up some salsa. This is not my absolute favorite, but it's pretty good and you can't beat the price, especially for organic. 
I got a big box of my almond milk. I love this. I put it in smoothies. And if I have cereal, I have it with almond milk. We also got some peanut butter. The kids decided to try the creamy this time, which I don't think you've ever purchased the creamy. You normally get the chunky. And just like that, that is everything from Costco. Now, like I said, not a whole lot from one store, but then we have the other store. So let me go ahead and show you what we got from Walmart, starting with some green onions. I also got some celery hearts, some chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm hoping to put this in a recipe. I'm not sure if it's going to work. It might end up getting burnt, but we shall see. I also got some slices of provolone. That is for a recipe. I got a four pack of avocados. I didn't want to get the one from Costco this time because I just don't know if we're going to have time to use them all before we go out of town. I got two of these little drinks for the kids. I already have one Spider-Man, so now I have three all together. You'll probably notice a theme. Let me know in the comments down below if you know what the theme is. We also got a package of croissants. These are going into lunches. And then these are really interesting. I've never seen these before, but I used to eat something very similar when I lived in Japan, and they called it a croquette. But basically, it's a broccoli and cheese nugget, and it's gluten-free. So. Hopefully the kids will like it. I'm gonna try putting it in their lunches, so we shall see. Now here's something I don't normally buy. This is pre-made cookie dough, and this one has the little Avengers um, symbol on there. That's going into some lunches. I also got the Avengers Go-Gurts, because those are so fun. These are in the raspberry and strawberry flavor. I also got the Avengers Rice Krispie Treats. You guys are probably getting it already, <laughs> the theme. And I also got the Spider-Man Waffles, because why not? Oh yes, and speaking of Spider-Man, I also got the Spider-Man Yogurt. And this is actually, um, let's see, two are grape and two are strawberry. And I think it's really weird to have grape flavored yogurt. It's not very common around here. Also from Walmart and also for some recipes, I got a can of sliced peaches and these are in their juice. I also got two boxes of the Jiffy Cornbread mix. I got some of these uh, Mighty Meaty Chicken Meatballs. And these ones are supposed to be a little bit healthier, full of protein, so we're gonna give those a try. I also got some blueberries, some cherry tomatoes, some strawberries, these look so good and they smell good too. And I also got two mangoes. Back over here, I have a few more things from Walmart. First, I have this block of cream cheese, which unfortunately I dropped and now it won't shut. I also got a thing of biscuit dough. This is for a recipe. And a can of the crescent dough sheet, also for a recipe. Hiding back over here, I got some of these English muffins, which I'm actually hoping to make some English muffin pizzas for one of the lunches this week or maybe next week. Moving right along, I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Trader Joe's. It's kind of mixed in over in this area, so we'll try our best. But first up, I got some of these apple and mango fruit bars. These are gluten-free and vegan. I've had a lot of requests to show more gluten-free, allergy-friendly lunches, so these are definitely gonna go into there. We've had these before and they're actually really good. We also got some of these fruit leathers in the apple strawberry and apple blueberry. And you'll probably notice I just have three and not four because my toddler doesn't really eat these yet. I also got a small bag of the sugar snap peas. Whenever we're going out of town, I like to buy the smaller bag of vegetables and the smaller things are fruit instead of getting the big ones at Costco. I also got one green pepper and one sweet onion. These are both going into a recipe. I got a smaller bag of the organic broccoli florets. I really like to steam these. My daughter Lily can't get enough. She loves her steamed broccoli. I also picked up three of these organic lemons, a smaller bag of the organic apples. These are the Fuji, and these are so small and stinking cute. They're perfect for lunches and perfect for my kids because they won't waste a bigger apple. And look at these tiny little pears. They're also just so cute and tiny, perfect for my kids. Moving over here, I got a can of the organic vegetarian chili. This is really good if you use some of these little corn chip scoopers. Yes, it is so good. I also got some mustard. We've been out of mustard for a while and my daughter Lily loves mustard. And then I got this, you guys. I kid you not, we went to both North Carolina and South Carolina without trying any barbecue. I was so sad when I realized that we didn't have time for that. So. I went ahead and got this barbecue sauce because I really wanted to try it. 
Now I know the barbecue is different depending on what area of the country you're from. In California I feel like it's kind of a mix, but maybe I should ask my brother. He would probably know more than me. But it looks like this has a lot of yellow mustard and vinegar, so I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. For the kids, I picked up another thing of the cookie butter. They really love this. It's definitely a treat. We don't get it all the time, but this time we got the crunchy because it's really good. Moving over here, I have a head of iceberg lettuce. I haven't heard any bad news about iceberg lettuce, so hopefully this will be okay. I like to use this in place of a bun if I'm having a burger as sort of a wrap. It's really good. I also got a medley of grapes. We have red, green, and black in there. Perfect for lunches. I got a box of the apple mango applesauce, and I also got the apple strawberry variety. The kids love those. Super portable and easy. I also got some of our favorite yogurt pretzels. I got some of these pea crisps. They sell these at Costco as well, but in a much bigger bag, but this week I just wanted a few to throw into lunches. Speaking of lunches, I also got some of these spud crunchy potato snacks, and it looks like a french fry, but it's like a chip. Now I kind of splurged on this one. I love this stuff, it is so good, but I'm the only one in my family who likes it. This is the butter chicken. It's really good, it's a little bit spicy. And lastly, in today's haul, I also got these cookies. These are the soft bake snickerdoodles, and these are actually wheat-free, milk-free, peanut-free, egg, and soy-free. So this will definitely be going in my allergy-friendly lunch. Oh yes, and I almost forgot to show you the fig bites. I've never purchased these before at Trader Joe's, but I'm going to say that they're probably just like Fig Newtons, just the Trader Joe's version. So hopefully my toddler will like them. Okay friends, that is everything in my haul today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.